Coaches can guide and teach sportsmen and women in different ways. When choosing a suitable method of guidance, ability level, the sport being learned, and the facilities available must be taken into account. There are four types of guidance that can be used. Visual guidance, verbal guidance, manual guidance, and mechanical guidance. You can pause this video to take a look at the table, but we're gonna go through each type of guidance in a bit more detail. Visual guidance is when a coach shows a performer how to perform a skill. This type of guidance is particularly used by beginners who need to see the skill before attempting it themselves. For example, a tennis coach who is teaching a beginner a forehand shot will visually show this skill. If an expert isn't available to demonstrate the skill, then a video can be used instead. Verbal guidance is when a coach gives verbal instructions pointing out how to improve a skill. Beginners will find it hard to take these instructions on board, but this method can be useful for experts. For example, a basketball coach may verbally tell a player how to tweak their shooting technique in order to improve. Manual guidance is when a coach physically puts a performer into the correct position to perform a skill. This is used for specific sports and mainly for children who are beginners. For example, a young gymnast can be physically put into the position to perform a forward role or a golf or tennis coach could physically show a performer how a shot should feel. Mechanical guidance is when a coach uses a device to aid the teaching of a skill. Like manual guidance, this helps to build confidence for beginners. For example, a harness can help a performer in gymnastics or skiing, whereas armbands put a performer into the correct position when learning how to swim. However, mechanical guidance shouldn't be used for too long as beginners can become over-dependent on the support given. Each type of guidance has advantages and disadvantages. It will be worthwhile pausing the video now and using this table for revision. Make sure you understand who should use each type of guidance and in what situations each should be used. This final table gives a few examples of the types of guidance used for specific skills. So for the first up in the table, an expert perfecting their layup technique in basketball, they would benefit from verbal skills because they're an expert. They already know how this skill should look. So the verbal communication will just help them to tweak their technique. A beginner learning how to do a forward roll would benefit from somebody physically showing them or physically putting them into the position to perform this skill. So manual guidance would be most appropriate. A beginner learning to bowl in cricket wouldn't be experienced enough to take on uh, verbal instructions on this skill. So they, they need to see it take place. So visual guidance would work. A beginner learning how to do a somersault uh, would need to see this skill in action. And then also a harness can be used as mechanical guidance to give them some confidence. Finally, a beginner learning to swim front crawl would obviously benefit from armbands, so mechanical guidance would be most appropriate.